Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today, we're going to talk about why realtors won't give you the time of day. Why are they sloughing you off? Why are they giving you the smoke screen? Why are they giving you those lame objections? Why won't they give you the time of day? That is the question, right? I mean, you offer great rates, great service. You got a great pleasing personality. You got a heart to serve. Why won't they give you even a chance? Well, we're going to talk about exactly why that is happening and most importantly, how to fix it once and for all today. Because at the end of the day, if you look at the shortest path to the cash to go from where you are to where you want to be, it is and chances are always will be attracting top producing agents to make you their exclusive. Yeah, riding the refi boom is always a great thing. We'll take that low hanging fruit. Right now, a lot of you are fat and happy right now because you're bringing in more money than you ever have before thanks to the refi boom. And that's beautiful. And that's great. And praise God for that. We'll take it. However, when rates go up, and it's not a matter of if, just when, you don't want to be caught with your pants down, unequipped and ill-equipped, scrambling to get into the purchase market. You want to be preemptive and proactive with a stable of rock star, superstar realtors who are sending you all their business all the time, making you their exclusive, putting you on their speed dial, and having relationships that are rock solid, that are full of mutual reciprocation appreciation, love, respect, all that goodness, and making sure that those relationships are solid and are forged under a rock solid foundation before rates go up so that when it happens, not if, but when you're prepared, you're ready, and you're already dominating in the purchase market. You're already bringing in 60, 70, 80% of your business to the purchase market. And when you're set up like that, you can sleep well at night knowing that you are going to be least and last affected by market downturns, not first and most. However, if you're on the flip side of the coin and you're relying 80% on refis, 20% on purchase, you and I both know you're in a very precarious position. But Doran, I'm making money hand over fist right now. I'm cool with that. Everything's great. Rates aren't going to go up for a while. Yes. And are you doing anything now to be preemptive and proactive so that when rates go up, not if, but when you're ready? Well, that's precisely why you want to be attracting top producing agents to make you their exclusive. That's precisely why you want to embed that into your daily habits and rituals so that perennially and consistently, you're building that purchase market muscle. You don't get muscle overnight. You don't get bulging muscles in a day. You get them by building them daily by virtue of your daily, not weekly, not monthly, daily habits and rituals. So I'm speaking right now to the veterans, chances are, who are getting fat and lazy and lackadaisical and perhaps complacent about building your purchase market. But then on the flip side, we got some of you who are newbies and you got into this business perhaps right smack dab in the middle of COVID-19 or prior to, and you're like, holy guacamole, I got some formidable challenges. Why the heck am I launching my career in this business right now? This is not an opportune time. And I'll speak to that and just say, what if it's not a setback? What if it's a setup? As the old saying goes, if you're Feeling adversity, if you're facing adversity, if adversity is preparation for greatness, you, my friend, are being prepared for something great. So what if this isn't a setback? What if it's a set up for you to build muscle like you never built muscle before, to build inner character and strength, to be able to get the acumen, the expertise, the talent, the experience? the mindset, the marketing, the muscle you need to achieve your dreams and goals faster than ever before. Because I can tell you right now, a lot of your competition are going to be dropping like flies when things start to contract. Right now, these are still the glory days. But when rates go up and your competition start dropping like flies because they're caught with their pants down, unequipped and ill-equipped, and all of a sudden everyone's scrambling after the same purchase market, that's when you're going to be winning. So mark my words, this, this is not a stumbling block. This 
COVID-19 thing. It's a stepping stone. It's not a, a setback. It's a set up. And what if this is your unique opportunity, a chance of a lifetime to turn this adversity into opportunity? The question now is, how do we do that in the purchase market when these realtors aren't giving the time of day? How do we get through the resistance? How do we get through the resignation, the cynicism, the high wall of uh, fear or just cynicism such that they're not giving the time of day? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So the first thing I want to say about this is that if you're following the herd and doing what everyone else is doing, the symptom of that is these realtors not giving you the time of day. If you're offering great rates and great service, if you're just showing up at open houses or you're calling them up saying, hey, how was your weekend? You got any buyers that need to get pre-approved? If you call them up and say, hey, I can help you with the turndowns. Do you have any turndowns? Any of that stuff that is so old hat, it's so snoring boring that they're just going to roll their eyes into the back of their head. They're not going to give you, they're not going to give you the time of day and you're end up, you're going to end up just wasting your time not getting traction. So that's how not to do it. If you're doing it the way everyone else is doing it, that's how not to do it because conventional methods produce conventional results. Conventional thinking produces conventional result, results. And if you're just the me too guy where you look around and you say, oh, they're saying great rates, me too. Or you look around and say, they're saying great service, me too. Or you're looking around and say, oh, everyone else is providing crap leads from the internet. Let me hook you up with some crap leads from the internet because everyone else is doing that. Or I can do this or I can do that. And you're following the herd. That is the surest way to get chewed up and spat out, wasting your time trying to make overtures to these realtors to no avail. Because what happens is they just numb out because they hear it time and time again. They're getting the same 40 realtors, or rather they're getting the same you know, 10 loan officers who've been trained by the same coaching company and calling them up every Monday. And it's the same thing. How'd your weekend go? Got any buyers who need to get pre-approved? Blah, blah, blah. There's no unique value. There's nothing that makes you stand out. You're just a mortgage guy or a mortgage gal hawking rates and surface service and pre-approval offerings. That is not unique. That is called replaceable. That's called a replaceable commodity. And they'll see you in that way. And if they see you as a replaceable commodity, then you get chewed up and spat out. They don't give you the time of day because they think, oh, this is just another average Joe L.O. trying to leech me from loans, trying to leech me of loans. That's not how you want to position yourself. You want to position yourself as irreplaceable and indispensable. And you want to position yourself with such a kick-ass unique value proposition that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script, right? change the dynamics. So instead of them interviewing you, you're interviewing them. I just had uh, a, cup, a couple of clients celebrate this week. One of them landed a brand new partnership with a team of five or six agents. They do over a hundred transactions a year. And she was kind of flipping her lid because she was leaking a little bit too much of the juice before it's time, I told her how to do it so that she books the appointment, she does the diagnostic, and then she prescribes the cure for what ails them. Well, she was so jacked and juiced about sharing what she had to bring to the table. She was leaking some of that juice before she was supposed to. But even kind of botching the process, she landed this team of six agents who are doing over 100 transactions a year. And she's showing up with unique value, solving problems in their business like no one else is. And they said, you know what? We're sending you all our business. And not only that, we're delighted to. We love how you're showing up. And the appreciation and the love was just oozing out of this email that she read out loud to me. And it was so beautiful because you could see with the smile on her face and the energy that she was exuding, that it was a mutual reciprocal love relationship, right? Where they're loving her, she's loving them. And everyone's tank is getting filled. Everyone's battery is getting charged. And it just feels great, right? When you have the right synergy, the right chemistry, the right connection, and there's just that mutual love and rapport and honor and respect. That's what it's about. 
But you think about this, they're doing 100 transactions a year. Even if she captured just maybe 20% of that to be super, super, super conservative at 3K a pop, that's 60K. How many of those kind of partners do you need to get to your in income goals? Chances are less than 12. So my method and my thinking is all about working smarter, not harder. Why chase 40 realtors when you can land six to 12 rock stars who are top producers who are doing 20, 50, 100 plus transactions a year? You get their mind share, their heart share, and exclusive referral share. So they send you all their business. And now you're kicking ass, bringing in one, two, three deals a month per partner. Instead of getting, instead of getting one, two, three deals per year per partner, chances are if you're doing it the hard way, that's how it's going willy-nilly, flying by the seat of their pants. They give you a deal once in a blue moon. Maybe they think you're the loan resurrector. So now you're the last resort loan officer getting the crap deals that no one else can close. You don't want to beat that, be that guy or that gal. You want to be the one that gets all the best stuff, all the cream. Let someone else get the chaff. You want to get the cream. Agreed? So how do you do that? You do it by number one, knowing you can have it the way you want it if you don't settle. Knowing that you can have it exactly the way you want it if you can bring enough unique value to the table, which means you got to understand what business you're in. Most people think they're in the mortgage business. You're not in the mortgage business. That's a great way to stay broke and be broke in this business. You're not in the mortgage business. You are in the marketing business. And until and unless you embrace that, and you navigate your business and you order your priorities in light of that, you're going to leave a shit ton of money on the table, my friend, because where the money is, is always going to be, is and always will be in the marketing of your services, in the marketing of your origination, your, your mortgages, not in doing the origination, but in the marketing of bringing in more borrowers. That's how you make more money in a month than you used to make in three months, in six months, by focusing on lead generation, lead conversion, and making it rain. So that's all marketing. Notice that's nothing to do with finding a home for the loan. It's nothing to do with finding the right product. It's nothing to do with processing. It's nothing to do with chasing the client for docs. You can build a team to help you with all that, if you focus on marketing and if you focus on building your marketing muscles such that you're bringing more and more and more deals in the door so you can afford to have a top talent team to liberate you from all the minutia. So understand you're not in the mortgage business, you are in the marketing business. Once you embrace that and you order your priorities in light of that, that's when you're ready to start getting really paid and put more zeros and commas in your bank account than ever before. It starts with that mindset. Once you embrace that, now you bring that same mindset to these realtors. So instead of coming to these realtors being a leech, being a loan parasite and trying to bleed loans from them, instead, you're bringing real value to the table. You're bringing pre-approved buyers that you've already self-sourced who are hot for what you got and need a buyer's agent. And now you're serving them up on a silver spoon from a silver platter. And you got to be knowing these realtors are not used to that kind of treatment. Having a mortgage professional bring them a pre-approved buyer, that never happens. The last time that happened, the whole world probably iced over because they've never experienced that, friends. It's not something they experience because most loan officers are lame and they just leech instead of give. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. It doesn't take much to separate you from the pack. All you have to do is be just a little bit unique, have that unique edge, and all of a sudden you stand out like no one else. So you're bringing unique value. You're diagnosing their pain. You're identifying where they're leaving money on the table. You're identifying where they're losing steam in their marketing engine, leads that are not being followed up, or they're being followed up, but they're only using email instead of text message or they don't have an automated system to do it, or they're leaving it too long and the leads are getting cold, or they're getting cold and then they don't have a way to re-engage them. There's a shit ton of money they're leaving on the table because they just don't know what they don't know. By you building your marketing muscle, 
Now you have that muscle to flex to bring real unique value to your realtors. And now instead of going begging, chasing, bribing, and groveling for business, you come with a heart to serve and with power to give. Now they need you more than you need them. Now you're in the power position. Now you hold the cookie. Now you're bringing tools, systems, campaigns, buyers, leads, sellers. You're bringing kick-ass value, a stack of awesome that no one else even gets close to. And now all of a sudden you can roll your shoulders back. You can put a smile on your face and you can have this relaxed confidence. Now you got some swagger factor. Now you got your mojo, not because you got it all figured out, not because you're pompous or you're proud or you're arrogant, but because you know you're coming from the right place with a heart to serve and you've got some kick-ass value that solves real problems in their business and you're not just force feeding them with a pill to solve something in their business before they discern that they actually have a problem. You're diagnosing their problem first. You're identifying their problem first. You get them realizing they're sick first and then you prescribe what ails them, how to cure what ails them. And now... They're chomping at the bit to work with you. They're salivating. They're so hot for what you got. They're doing backflips and they're exuding a sense of appreciation and gratitude because you're showing up like no one else. You're bringing value like no one else. You're serving like no one else. You're serving them to their breakthrough. You're serving them to their dream. You're serving them to optimization and maximization of their profit and their revenue and being able to get to their goals better, faster, easier than ever before. You're removing the razor wire. You're greasing the chute. You're making it easy, breezy, lemon squeezy for them to execute. Because now you're not just a mortgage guy or gal. You're not just a mortgage partner. You're a marketing partner. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. You're a marketing partner. Notice the feeling that brings to the table when you embrace that identity of being a marketing partner for these real estate agents not just a loan partner. What's the difference in how that feels? Notice if you tune into the feeling of it, the dignity of it, the strength of it, the power of it, the strategic value of it. Now you bring that identity into your approach. But that's not enough just to have that identity. We also need to have the right overture, the right approach, the words that work to be able to get these people open to meeting with you. So that's where you need to have the right overture and the right reach out so that while everyone else is zigging, you're zagging and you have a refreshing, compelling value prop that makes them want to meet with you. So that's, of course, one of the reasons why our clients come to us is because they don't know how to do that. They don't want to mess around doing it the hard way. They don't have to mess around trying to reinvent the wheel. So they come to us with the proven formula, the proven blueprint to be able to just stick the key in the ignition and drive away with the words that work to be able to get these top producing agents hot for what you got without making a single cold call. Just upload the list of top producing agents into our realtor attraction system and bada bing, bada boom, you're booking appointments like a hot knife through freaking butter all day, every day. I got clients who are booking two, three, four, five appointments a day, like clockwork. I had one guy book 11 in one day with top producing agents and he was a newbie and he didn't even have a pleasing personality. He was kind of awkward. That's how effective our system is. It works for newbies and veterans alike. It works for people who are extroverted. It works for people who are introverted. It works for people who are techie. It works for people who are not techie. It works for people who are on the West Coast. It works for people who are on the East Coast. It works for people from the North. It works for people in the South. It works with people who have their manager say, you know what? I don't know if that strategy is going to work because these realtors are really clicky. They won't give you the time of day. Trust me. I've been doing this for years. I actually had a client tell me that. And she's still stuck in the mud doing it the hard way because her manager said, yeah, I wouldn't bother investing in a system like that because these realtors are super clicky. Our market is different. Our market is unique. No, your market ain't different. It's just that that's a symptom of you doing it the hard way. And you think that just because you're getting that symptom from doing it the hard way that you're going to get that symptom any way that you slice it or dice it. No, that's not the case. If you're not enjoying sex, chances are you're doing it wrong. 
And if you're not enjoying attracting top producing agents and it ain't working, chances are you're doing it wrong. So it ain't about the fact that just because your market is, you know, clicky, that it's always going to be clicky. It, they're clicky because they don't want to give you the time of day because you're showing up as like everyone else is. Old hat, old news, snoring, boring. And you wonder why they're not giving the time of day. Well, wonder no longer. If you're not getting the results you want, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it the hard way. So I got a comment from Marcus. He said, separate ourselves and then being value added. And how do we effectively market? I've tried several marketing platform, platforms. Nothing seems to work. What do I do to become unique? Well, it's about the mindset first. And then, of course, if, if, if you don't want to have to reinvent the wheel, Marcus, you want to be able to have tools in your toolbox to bring real value to realtors. Like when clients come to us, what we do is not just a one trick pony solution. A lot of the other solutions out there, I feel your pain, brother, because there are so many solutions out there that are the one trick pony solutions where you're drumming up leads on Facebook, for example, and then you're serving up a, a mountain full of crap leads to these realtors. And you wonder why the realtors still aren't sending you business because now you're just bogging them down with a bunch of crap real uh, crap, crap leads from Facebook that don't convert and they're making no money and they're getting their time chewed up and they're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes where they could be getting more repeat and referral business and maximizing their database. Instead, they're wasting their time with these crap leads. So that doesn't work, right? And and other methods might be maybe there's just one campaign you can use to help them with their database. That's great. But if you're just relying on one thing, their database, as soon as you help them get more business from their database and that hits the point of diminishing returns, then what? If you're just riding a one trick pony and that pony gets sick, you got a problem. It's time to dismount. So we're all about building stability through diversification, which means... We don't want to rely on a one-trick pony. We, want, we don't want to sit on a one-legged stool. Instead, you want multiple, multiple prongs, multiple pillars, multiple media, multiple campaigns, multiple unique value adds. And it's the robustness of having that full quiver of awesome that makes you irreplaceable, indispensable, and has you be that breath of fresh air for these realtors who see you as a true strategic marketing partner, not just a replaceable commodity hawking loans like everyone else is. So there are a multitude of ways we help our loan officer, a mortgage broker, a mortgage banker, mortgage originator clients become irreplaceable and indispensable to the realtors. Here are just a few examples of what we do for you if we decide to work together to help you go from where you are to where you want to be. We show you how to book that appointment with these top producing agents, like a hot knife through butter with zero cold calling. We show you how to do the first diagnostic meeting. We call that a discovery meeting. Then we show you how to do the show and tell meeting, which is showing them how you actually solve their unique problems inside of your VIP partnership program. And then we show you how to stack the awesomeness inside of your VIP partnership program. So it's robust. So it's uber compelling. So it gets them salivating, chomping at the bit to want to have the privilege to work with you. Notice I use the word privilege. That's intentional because all of a sudden now it's truly a privilege to work with you. Not because you have a pulse, you can fog a mirror because you hawk loans. It's because you bring real kick-ass value, showing them how to dominate on Google with five-star reviews. So they become the only logical choice showing them how to convert more of the open house leads into actual qualified buyers and closed loans, showing them how to resurrect their dead leads into hot for what you got re-engaged buyers, showing them how to automate their marketing, automate their lead generation, automate their database marketing, art automate their lead conversion. See, these tools and systems are tools and systems that work for you and your business. So by building muscle and leading by example in your own business, now you can turn around and show your partners how to do likewise. Not because it's theory, not because it's some BS hype, but because you're living it in your own business. That's the best way to be a value is to lead by example in your own life, in your own business. And then you just turn around and show what's been working for you. Does that make sense? So that's how you add that unique value. Not crap leads from Facebook, although those can convert into some pre-approvals and it's the pre-approvals they want, not the crap leads. So give them what they want. It's like if you're trying to catch a mouse, you don't want to show a chunk of cheese with whiskers next to it, right? 
because whiskers are attached to something that wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner called a cat. Instead, give them what they want, which is cheese, and remove what they don't want, which is whiskers. So you've got to give them what they want. How to solve their problems, how to liberate them from their pain and their frustration, how to take the money they're leaving off on the table and put it in their pocket where it belongs. So real value, relevant value, applicable value, and obviously it needs to be unique. If everyone's offering it, then it's just a replaceable commodity and you become that replaceable cog in the wheel. That's what we don't want for you. So what we want to do is get the mindset of being a marketing partner, not a replaceable commodity as a mortgage hawker. Get that mindset, own that identity, and then get yourself equipped with kick-ass tools, systems, campaigns, and proven formulas that you can bring to these realtors and just stick the key in the ignition and drive away as opposed to trying to reinvent the wheel. I mean, sure, you can knock yourself out and try to figure this out on your own, but we've been in this game 15 years. I'd have to be a complete numb nut to be in this game almost uh, two decades. It's gonna be two decades in four years. I've actually been in this game for 16 years. I gotta update my numbers. So to be in this game for 16 years and not figure a few things out on how to actually bring real value to the table. So you can try and reinvent the wheel and do it the hard way, slugging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, trying to figure this thing out on your own for 5, 10, 15 years. Or you can leverage my blood, sweat, and tears. You can leverage the fact that I've already skinned my knees and got the scars to prove it so that you don't have to. I've been doing this for 16 years now, friends. So you can try and do this the hard way and try and reinvent the wheel and figure this thing out on your own like somebody trying to solve a Rubik's Cube on your own, or you can just go to the Rubik's Cube master and you can spend a whole lifetime trying to figure out the Rubik's Cube on your own, switching one slider to the next, right? One level to the next, trying to line up those colors. Or you can just pass it on to the expert, give them three minutes with it and he'll have it solved for you. And now you get to the outcome immediately because there's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way, is there? There's no merit badges for making it a slow grind. You don't get a merit badge for banging your head against the wall, doing it the hard way, coming up short, do you? So I'm all about how can we get you on the shortest path to the cash? How can we get you to the outcome with the least amount of time, energy, and struggle and stress? And that's precisely why clients come to us because they're done with doing it the hard way. They're done with banging their head against the wall. They're done with spinning their wheels. They're done with trying to reinvent the wheel. They're just done with that. They've been there, done that, got the scars to prove it. It ain't working. And they're ready to have it work for them and work now and work in spades and 10X their production and to make more money in one month than they used to make in three, four, five months. So if you're ready for that, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. Now, there are a few qualifiers, okay? So one qualifier is you need to be on 100% commission as a residential mortgage professional. You need to have a basis points commission structure of at least 80 basis points because our solution is a Ferrari level solution. And if you're only making 20 basis points, 30 basis points, it's a bit like hitting a finishing nail with a sledgehammer. It's overkill. We want you to be able to make a positive return on your investment in the matter of 30, 60, 90 days. To do that, you need to be able to get paid at least two grand or more per deal. So if that's you and you're defiantly committed to making at least an extra $100,000 to your annual income in the next 12 months or less, and you're sick and tired of doing it the hard way, and you're looking for a proven plan, and you're looking for the clarity on how to actually get out of the slump or out of the rut or the stagnation or the frustration you've been in and get into kicking ass like never before, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call with myself or one of my consultants where we lift up the hood on your business. We look at what's working, what's not working, uh, where you're at now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create that breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you how to do it. 
If not, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we'll have some fun along the way. All right. So if that sounds good to you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Let's just have a chat. Let's have some real talk about where you're at and where you want to be. Chances are, if you're anything like me, being on the front lines of capitalism in the real world on 100% commission, you eat what you kill, it's a lonely road. Our spouses love us. Our spouses care for us. They're often our biggest cheerleaders, but they don't know what it's like to be on the front lines. So just to have someone really care and really listen and to come with a heart to serve can be worth the time in and of itself. However, if we feel like we really gel, we really connect, we have the right synergistic fit and the right chemistry, we may decide to work together. And if we have that right fit, I can tell you right now, it's going to be a heck of a lot more not to have our system than to have it in terms of the lost deals, the wasted time, the lost partners, the banging the head against the wall. Doing it the hard way is expensive. The tuition of the university of not knowing is expensive not knowing how to attract these partners, not knowing the words that work to be able to book appointments with top producing agents without the hell of cold calling, not knowing how to overcome the lame excuses that they give you, the knee-jerk rebuttals they give you, not knowing how to dismantle those objections and to be able to book those appointments like a hot knife through butter, not knowing how to add unique value to them in the form of real marketing solutions and campaigns and kick-ass strategies that help them grow their business. That's costing you, chances are, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month. The university of not knowing is freaking expensive. I invite you to look at ways to make bold, intelligent, strategic investments in yourself. As good old Benny Franklin said, for the best return on your money, pour your purse into your head. Become the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself usually is some type of strategic investment that stretches you out of your comfort zone. Because at the end of the day, without having skin in the game, self-help becomes shelf help. We end up doing jack diddly squat with it, right? We don't even take the cellophane off. Why? Because we get caught up. Life gets in the way. It's easy to take action towards our dreams, but it's also easy not to. Next thing you know, a day turns into a week, a week turns into a month, and we do jack diddly squat. And it, whatever we invested in just collected dust because we didn't have enough skin in the game. So we don't work with the interested friends. We work with the committed. We work with those who are just freaking sick and tired of trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on their feet, settling for mediocrity, performing way less than they're capable of. And they're ready to rise up and start to soar. They're ready to rise up and step into their dream life, their dream income and show up as the hero they're called to be for their family. If that's you, let's talk. Let's see what we can do to help you. Again, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. This is Dorn Aldana, Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast from mortgagemarketingcoach.com. We've been talking today about why realtors won't give you the time of day and how to fix it. We talked about the importance of having the right mindset, that you're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business, to own that identity to rearrange your schedule, your daily calendar, and your priorities accordingly in light of that, and to stop being the last resort LO, stop being a replaceable commodity, stop being a loan leech, and start being a strategic marketing partner. And the importance of investing in yourself so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you don't have to try and figure out the recipe, just get the recipe and work the recipe, and all of a sudden, your results ramp up like never before. Your revenue ramps up like never before. You kick ass, take names, chew bubble gum like never before. And that's my goal for you, my friends. So if that is indeed what you're ready for and what you're committed to next, let's talk mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. I trust you got some value from our time together today. Be blessed. We'll talk to you same place on another episode, Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And apparently it's time to wrap up this podcast because I'm starting to trip on my lips. So we might as well start now while we're not too far sliding backwards and incoherent and discombobulated. So you're welcome. Art of Mortgage Marketing, mortgagemarketingcoach.com. And we'll talk to you again soon. Peace, y'all.